I just got this shirt from Cider and it's super cute. <laughs> Uh, but I don't know if this like cream color really suits my skin tone, to be honest. I just recently read Flawless and The Brutal Prince, and I definitely want to get the second books in both of those series. I am completely obsessed and so annoyed at myself for waiting so long to read them. And then there is also a couple of new releases I'm thinking about getting as well, specifically Serpent and... The Wings of Night. I can never remember how to say that title properly. And I do have a couple of people to still shop for, so I think I'm gonna go thrifting for potential presents as well. So that's kind of the plan for the day. I'm very excited. I haven't gone thrifting, I feel like, in quite some time, so uh, pretty excited for it. And obviously I'm excited to get more books, even though I really don't need to. My TBR, physical TBR, is getting insane. <laughs> uh, I think I have like close to 100 books now. Anyway, that's kind of the plans for the day. Let's go! <laughs>
pillow. It's a couple days after it's been a couple of days since we went to the bookstore in the thrift store and I've got a big old bag of stuff to show you. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the thrifted things first and save the books slash the best for last. The first couple of things I'm gonna show you, I actually got a little bit ago, like a month ago, I think. <laughs> I just haven't unbagged it yet because one of the things is for Christmas and I was kind of just waiting until now. I'm kind of going for like a witchy Victorian-esque type of vibe in my room and the entrance of my bedroom kind of has like this little mini hallway. So I want to do kind of like the whole hallway as like this big gallery wall type of situation. So the first couple of things that I have are things for that wall. So far on the gallery wall, it's still in the very beginning stages of it, but uh, I've got a couple of big kind of pictures. I have like a couple mirrors and uh, I need to find like little things like this to kind of fill in the gaps. Also too, I got this little like candle sconce type of situation. Um, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this, but I have this one main picture that I wasn't sure about when we first got it, but now I'm obsessed with it. And I thought it'd be really cool to kind of put two candle sconces on either side of it. I thought I got two of these, but I don't know where the other one is. So either way, it's gonna go on my wall. And then the only other thing that I got on my old trip was this brass reindeer. This is so cool. It has cool little like patterns on the side and he's just adorable. I just realized it has something written on the bottom of it. It says Sally Davis, June 9th, 1984. I love finding things at thrift stores and antique stores and actually being able to age them or like find out when they were made. Uh, the candy jar actually that I use for my TBR jar, uh, that's from the 40s, which I think is so cool. It came in like its original box and everything. But anyway, so there she goes. <laughs> now let's go ahead and actually go through the stuff that we got this past weekend. This first thing is so, so stinking cool. Uh, I got a genie bottle. It's just giving Aladdin, you know? <laughs> Things just are not made like this anymore and it's the main reason I go thrifting. I just think that is the coolest dang thing. I don't know if you can like see the etching very well, but it is so stinking pretty. Um, let's see. I cannot show you this one because that is a present for a friend. <laughs> And I also cannot show you this one because it's a present for a friend. <laughs> but these I can definitely show you and I'm so excited about them. How stinking pretty are these? Since I've started this channel and my book collection has grown significantly, every time we go thrifting, I look out for bookends and I was so excited when I found these ones. Actually, there's a clip in this video of me getting a bookend of The Thinking Man. I put him in my cart and I wheeled him around with me the entire time we were in the first antique store, but I ended up putting him back because I didn't really find anything else. And I don't know about you, but for whatever reason, I really hate only buying one thing from a store. But also too, he did have like a really prominent seam kind of going down the very center of him. And I don't know, when things have seams like that, it just kind of looks cheap to me. But we did find these and I am so excited about them. So that's my little mini thrift haul. Now let's go ahead and talk books. And I do have a few here and they all funny enough have a very similar color palette. <laughs> and the first two that we have from the bookstore are the two that I'm pretty sure I told you in the beginning of this video that I went there specifically to get, which was Heartless by Elsie Silver and then The Stolen Air by Sophie Lark. And I was actually gonna get like the next couple of books in this series specifically, but uh, they only had this one in Flawless, so. I only got the one. <laughs> if you're unfamiliar with the Chestnut Springs series, which is what this one is, these are essentially like cowboy Western romance novels. And each book involves like a different member of the Eaton family. But this one specifically is about Cade. And there is a little bit of an age gap, it looks like. So it says Cade Eaton is 13 years older than Willa Grant, which is kind of funny because uh, looking back on the first book, there was like a comment mentioned that Willa likes older men because Willa is the best friend of the female lead from the first book. And I just read a little bit more ahead in the synopsis and this sounds so fun. I'm not gonna read it now because I am gonna be starting a reading vlog tomorrow and this is definitely gonna be one of the books that I read in that. So you'll get more information on this book very soon. And then the other one, like I said, is Stolen Air by Sophie Lark. And as far as like the first book in this series goes, The Brutal Prince, that one focused mostly on two different families, the Griffins and the Gallows. And those are kind of like two rival mafia families. And after I read that one, I kind of like briefed over the synopses for the rest of the books in the series. And there's kind of the same situation with the Chestnut Springs series where you're following different members of the families and kind of getting their romance stories. And this one is actually gonna be about Nessa Griffin, who is the younger sister of the male lead from the first book. So I'm so excited 
about these two freaking stories. Second to last book that we have is The Body by Stephen King. And this one was actually one that we picked up in the cafe at Barnes Noble. I think it's like every month they put a new book in the cafe and it's always $5. And this is what this month's is. And I can't remember what the movie is called, but it's a movie that Kevin really likes and this book is what that movie is based off of. So that's essentially why we got this one. And then the very last book that we have is actually one that I pre-ordered and I finally got it in. I think this was actually released like the last week of November and it took almost two whole weeks after it was released for it to finally get to me. <laughs> Typically I do all of my pre-orders on Amazon's website because uh, if you pre-order a book online on Barnes, you don't actually get it sent to you until it's released. But with Amazon, they actually send it early so that you get it on the day that it's released. Except with this one, it's not that big of a deal in the grand scheme of things because I wasn't planning on reading it right away anyway, but it's just kind of annoying because that's like the whole point of pre-ordering something is to get it when it comes out and that was not the case for this book. <laughs> but either way, this is To Kill a Shadow by Katherine Quinn. I honestly don't remember what this one's about. I know that it's like a fantasy romance, so instantly sold basically. But the main reason that I pre-ordered it was because it does have really pretty like purple sprayed edges. And after missing out on the fourth wing sprayed edges, I never want to do that again. Uh, these ones are obviously not nearly as intricate. They're just a color, but I still think it's fun and I didn't want to miss out. So uh, this is to kill a shadow. It says Jude Maddox knows nothing of love or even light. He knows only his grim duty as the hand of death. That's right. So the main reason that this kind of like attracted me was because the synopsis is mostly from the perspective of the male character and I thought that was neat. Also I was really attracted to the fact that he's the hand of death. I love a dark broody character. <laughs> It also says, it's only when he sees her, a young woman with wild amber eyes who's as fierce, defiant, and swift as the shadow beasts themselves. And it looks like she might be a knight and he is her lethal commander. With the kingdom on the verge of collapse, the knights must now venture into the darkest heart of the land and uncover the secrets of the misted shadows where evil will prey upon their minds and feast on their flesh. It will betray their senses. It will surpass their nightmares. Most of them will die. <laughs> Um, yeah, so this sounds really fun and dark and I just love a good dark fantasy romance. That is everything that I got at the bookstore and the thrift stores the other day. And that is everything that I have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you have slash have had the most amazing of days and I will hopefully see you in my next one. Bye.